hello there and welcome back to my channel today I have part three and the final video in my mini declutter series this one is going to include all of my lip products I feel like I have only a few of those little acrylic lipstick holders and my lip product collection has just gotten out of hand I really need to let some things go so here's to hoping that I do a very good job and I hope you enjoyed the video Okay, we're first going to start out with lip liners, and I keep my lip liners in this cute little kitty mug that I got from the dollar store. I just thought this was just cute because I don't have a huge mountain of lip liners, so I thought this would be cute to hold them all. I'm gonna go, I can go ahead and say that I am keeping all of my Rare Beauty lip liners. I, know, I think there are 10 in total. I have six of them here. I would like to get the rest of them eventually. So I can go ahead and say that these are definitely ones I am keeping. We don't even need to swatch those. These two right here are from LA Colors. Honestly, there's no name on these and they came in a little set that come from, I think it was Family Dollar and I don't really use them. They're okay, they're not bad or anything, but I don't use them and I also don't really like the size of them because they remind me of a lip liner that's about nearing the end. So I'm just gonna declutter those. I can also say I'm gonna keep my Kylie lip liner. This one is in the shade Dirty Peach. Honestly, I really probably should get rid of it because it does this weird thing. See how it comes out? But sometimes I actually can make it work. And it is a good lip liner and I don't think you can buy her lip liner separately. Like I think you have to get them in the lip kits, which I'm not a fan of that. Liquid lipsticks just aren't my thing unless it's in a certain shade. But I am going to keep it for now because I do still use it. And the reds that I have here, all of my reds are new to me except for this one from Joa. I've had that one the longest, but all of my other reds are newer to me, so I'm not going to part with those since I just really purchased them. And of course, it goes without saying that I am definitely keeping my NYX lip pencil in the shade Natural. This is my favorite lip pencil that I own, so this is a definite keep. We're not off to a very good start now, are we? But I'm going ahead and pulling out ones that I know for sure I'd want to keep, like this one too from LA Girl. This is the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. This one is in the shade Forever Bear. I'm gonna keep that one as well. These come in a Wet n Wild collection. I think it was the, yeah, the Saved by the Bell collection. I know Wet n Wild has recently been added back to the cruelty free list, but these aren't pencils that I really reach for, so I'm gonna declutter these. Now, these right here look kind of similar. So this is where I want to swatch things out just to kind of compare because I don't need all three. I will, I will say these two look more similar than this one, but I'm going to still compare all of these. So this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Lip Liner in the shade Pop. Some of these need sharpening. Now this one, I really honestly should probably let this one go anyway because this is from the Retro Paradise collection from e.l.f. You can't get this collection anymore. There wasn't even a name on it, it just was lip liner. They came in a set of four, I think, but I'm going to swatch it anyway. Yeah, see, those are really similar. And then I have the LA Colors Gel Lip Liner in the shade Melon. This one might... Oh, gosh. I need to sharpen these. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can see. I think the LA Girl one, it might not pick up on camera, but that one's more of a hot pink. And then these two are quite similar. So I'll keep the LA Girl one and the LA Colors one and I'll declutter the ELF one since you can't get that one anymore. This is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Nude Entrance. I really love this one. This one's a keep. I definitely don't need to swatch the ones I'm keeping. Now here is the rest of the ELF Par Retro Paradise Collection pencils. Now the only one I really use is this one. These two are just a little too dark for my personal skin tone, but I'm going to swatch them so I can show you. These don't have names on them by the way. They just come in a set. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one and then I'm going to declutter the other two. I know you can't get them anymore, but I'll just use this one on my personal time. And then I have this one from ELF. This was the ELF and Nabella Noir collection. I'm going to keep this one simply because of that packaging. I don't really use it that much. I do it occasionally, but I really honestly want to keep it because I just think the flowers on it are just so pretty. So I'm going to keep that one more so for like memory's sake. Probably won't be using it again. 
Now the rest of these are from Joa. Now I can go ahead and say that some of these like this one, this is the uh, Lip Candy Auto Lip Liner and this one is in the shade Plum. I don't really wear shades like that really that often and if I do I'm gonna reach for a darker shade in my Rare Beauty lipstick so I'm gonna declutter that one. Same with this one. This one is in the shade Brick. So that's a very pretty color, but I don't ever reach for it. I can go ahead and say that I'm definitely keeping rose and blush from their collection. I use these two quite often. I love pinky nude lip liners, so I'm going to keep these two. This one is in the shade Nude Brown. Pretty, but I don't reach for it. I like more of the pinky browns, if I'm being honest. This one is in the shade Marsala. It don't look like it on camera, but in person it looks like it has a little bit of pink to it, but mm -hmm. I don't really use it, so I'm going to let that one go too. And then this one is in the shade Pink Nude, I'm going to be keeping that one. Probably not the best start, <laughs> because these are the keeps and these are the ones going, but at least I have some in the going pile because I really didn't know if I would even have that. So it's a start. So next I'm going to move on to lip oils. All right, these are all my lip oils. And honestly, this is going to be hard because I really love lip oils. I think they're just my favorite, one of my favorite things when it comes to lip products because I wear a lipstick occasionally, but most of the time I might throw on a lip liner and then put a lip oil on, or I might just wear a lip oil. But before we get into those, since these two, I really should have put with the lip liners, but these don't really have a category. These are the L LA Colors Lip Crayons. I have the shades Cutesy and Deep Love. I never use these, so I'm going to declutter those. I should have included them in the lip liners, but I forgot about them, so I'm going to declutter those. <laughs> so I, I, you know what? Looking at these, I don't think there's... I, mm, you know what? No, 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 no. I need to get rid of at least a few. If I can't get rid of all of them, at least a few should go, because I should not have this many. Nobody needs this many. First though, I, I know one right here. I can, this is from Good Baths. This is the Sweet Apple Nourishing... Oh, this is a balm, but it's more like a lip oil. It feels like a lip oil. It comes out clear. So... I'm going to declutter that one. I do like it. You can get this for a dollar at Dollar General, but I don't use it as much as I do some of my other ones, so I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, right off the bat, I can go ahead and say that I am absolutely keeping my Jaclyn Cosmetics lip oils. These are some of my favorite lip oils. As you can see, I have used them a ton. I know they were sitting, they were laying down, but you can still see a majority of the product. I'm definitely keeping these. These are some of the best ones. And I'm going to keep my Merit lip oil as well. I just, there's something about the high-end makeup that makes it nearly impossible for me to let go. But I am going to keep this one. And these two are ones that, even though they are lip oils, I use these as kind of like with my skincare. They're both from LA Colors. These are some of my favorite lip oils. I think these are the best lip oils that LA Colors makes. So I am definitely keeping these, but I consider these more a skincare than actual like makeup products. I am going to keep the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil and then the Lottie London Oil Slick. I love both of these. These are the ones I usually prep my lips before I apply any of my makeup. These and the Jaclyn Cosmetics ones, so I am going to keep those. You know what? It's just so hard because I recently got these like last year during the holidays, so it's hard when I know I just purchased them. So you know what, I think I'm going to part with these. I've had these for a little while. The Ombre Lip Oils from LA Colors and I'm going to keep the Little Bears. I don't know why I even bothered to include this category because I knew that I would never part with any of them. But if anything, maybe would make a good little show and tell moment. But at least three are going. That's, well, something. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do lip gloss, and there's a ton of lip glosses, and I definitely have to be a lot harder on myself with lip gloss. I do not need as many as I have, so I'm going to try to do much better in that category than I did in this one. I do not need this many lip glosses. Like, this is just crazy for me anyway. I know that, you know, people have different preferences and stuff, but this is just no, 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 no. So, you know what? I don't even know where to begin, so we're just going to start grabbing. I know I have two of these. This is the Essence Shine 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 lip glosses. They have now reformulated these, so these aren't these are the original ones. I've heard some conflicting things like the new ones are not as good as these. Then I've heard the opposite, so I don't know. 
but I'm going to declutter these if and I would definitely like to repurchase the clear one in the new formula so I'm gonna declutter those I'm just gonna grab a few because I don't really they're just kind of scattered my lip glosses are really disorganized well my entire lip product collection is disorganized now I have these I have two of elf's lip glosses from the retro paradise collection as well as this one is just a prismatic lip gloss I don't I think that must have come as a freebie because I don't remember buying that but these are really old by this time so they're expired so I need to get rid of these for sure these are the perfusion and mean girls lip glosses I love these they're really pretty on the lips I just think they're nice on their own or over the top of a lipstick so I am gonna be keeping these I don't know if you can still get them because it was a limited edition collection but I do like them so I'd rather keep them and use them on my own time and I can go ahead and say that these are these might be expired by now i don't know these are from the color pop and raw beauty christie collection but i just want to keep the entire collection for like really kind of like memory and sentimental value because i thought the collection was amazing and it should be permanent so i am going to keep these but not really to use anymore this is the af94 give them lip high shine lip gloss this is newer to my collection so i am going to keep that one as well as this la colors glossy lips and then the milani keep it full lip plumper i know that lip plumpers are not the same as lip glosses but i just wanted to include all of them together these are also newer to my collection so i am going to keep them this one looks red in the tube but it's actually more of a clear these are from la colors they're both lip glosses but this one is actually a matte lip gloss which I, I don't I don't like that I just it kind of feels I guess kind of like maybe a lip mousse would feel which I'm not the biggest fan of that so I am going to go ahead and let go of that one and I never use this pout lip gloss from them so I am going to declutter both of those and these are the physician's formula diamond lip plumpers I love these so much and I hated at the time that I thought that once I used these up I wouldn't be able to repurchase because physician's formula was in the gray area but they've recently been added back to the cruelty free list so I am definitely keeping all of these they're amazing some of the best lip plumpers well, when I say best lip plumpers, they don't actually like plump your lips, but I don't really mind that. They just really kind of smooth out my lip lines, which is really all I'm looking for. Okay, these glosses are from the ColourPop and the Frozen 2 collection. They are probably really expired. This one does look like it's changed colors a little bit, so that's gross. So I'm going to declutter those. This is the Elf and Chipotle lip plumper. You can't get this anymore. It was a limited edition collection, but I love this. I love to use this also to prep my lips before makeup, so I am going to keep it. Now, these are from also from LA Colors. This is the Holographic lip gloss, and this one is the high shine lip gloss I don't really ever reach for these but I want to say one of these was sent to me in PR so because that was a part of my very first PR package I do want to keep that one and I want to say it was this one I, I don't I think this one was one I purchased on my own so I'm gonna set this one to the side just to see if that was the one they sent me I need to go back and look at that video and see if this was the one because I would just want to keep it for memory's sake but this one I'm gonna let go okay these are just some little squeezy lip glosses from LA colors I had a ton of them these were the two that came with the those two little mini lip liners and I never use them so I'm gonna declutter all of these I just don't reach for them talk about a very old lip gloss this is from the modern metals collection that elf put out like oh my gosh how old was that collection was that like seven years ago or something or five it had to be more than five years ago so that is definitely expired that's gotta go this is the elf I think these are I can't think of what they call them but they're lip stains so I am gonna keep that one and all of these you see here are little minis from LA colors you got these like if you bought like their little holiday sets or their little advent calendars I'm gonna be honest here I never reach for any of these they're decent quality like I'm not knocking the quality at all but I just have to be honest with myself I never really use these minis I never reach for them in the slightest I mean you can see they they do have a little bit of pigment to them like they're not you know total lackluster but I just don't reach for them what's the point in hanging on to them when I know that I'm not at the end of the day I'm not using them so I'm gonna let all of these go also not included in this little pile that I had here but I do have the light slacker I think they're called the jelly bomb like lip lacquers I'm keeping those for sure and then I'm also keeping all of my Rare Beauty lip products so you won't be seeing any more of those in the video. Alright, I did much better in this category. These are the keeps and then some of these like these two and I think this one from LA Colors, I might be wrong about that. They're not going to be included in my regular collection so if you take those out, 
This is all I'm keeping. I'm not, I think that made up for the lip oil category. So the next thing I'm gonna do are like lip balms. Like they're kind of like in the, you know, like the chapstick kind of form, kind of things like that. So they'll be next. Here are all my like lip balm type products. And I can go ahead and say this is a very easy category for me because all of my little CoverGirl Clean Fresh lip balms are keeps and everything over here is going. I love these from CoverGirl. They are the only lip balms I really want. So these are all going. So basically that's like the e.l.f. This is the bite size lip balm. This is a good one, but I'd rather have these. So that one's going to go. I have these two from Burt's Bees that are like their shimmer lip balms. These are probably expired by now, so they're going to go. Same thing with these Burt's Bees ones. They're probably really kind of expired by now. And then the last thing I had were these Essence Fruit Kiss lip balms. I used them a little bit, more so the coconut one, but they're probably expired by now, so I'm going to let those go. So this is an easy category. Keep all the cover, girl. Get rid of the extra ones. So next is going to be lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. Okay, these are all the lipsticks and liquid lipsticks that I have. So I can go ahead and say I'm definitely keeping my, these are newer to me. These are the Flower Beauty lipsticks. This is in Wild Azalea and Spiced Petal. I'm definitely keeping those. And of course, I am definitely keeping my e.l.f. O-Face Satin Lipsticks, especially in Dirty Talk. You know by now that is like my new favorite lipstick ever, so I'm going to keep these. And I can go ahead and say that I'm keeping the Milani ones as well. I can just, it's what I just try to like go ahead and grab the ones that I know for sure I'm keeping. Like I'm going to keep these little Give Beauty lipsticks. This was in her red shade. It was the matte lipstick, the more satin lipstick, and then the liquid lipstick in her signature red shade. So I'm going to keep all of these. I just got these around the holidays. These from LA Colors, these came in like, I want to say like an advent calendar or, and ew, that one looks like it's mushed in there, or something like that. There's no names on them, so there's no way to identify them, so I'm going to declutter these. And there's another Milani lipstick I'm going to keep, as well as my CoverGirl Exhibitionist lipstick in the red shade. And my CoverGirl, you know what though, this one in Honey Bloomed, this is the old packaging. I believe now all of them look like this now, and I think they still make the shade. So I'm going to, even though this is one of my favorite shades from CoverGirl, I'm going to declutter this one and repurchase it in the newer packaging because this one is probably getting pretty old by now. So I'm going to declutter that one and keep these. And I'm keeping these as well because they are newer to my collections. This is the AF94 Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless line. This is their red shade. So I'm going to keep those. These two are from the ColourPop and Frozen 2 collection. Honestly, these might be expired by now. They're really pretty lipsticks. Like They were... They were some of my favorites at the time, but honestly, I need to let them go. They're probably really old by now, and I, and I don't really reach for them, so I'm going to declutter those. These are newer to my collection as well. I went on a red binge not too long ago, so I want to keep these because they are newer to me, and I don't want to just turn around and get rid of them. This is the Believe It Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cherry on Top, and then this is the LA Colors Matte Lipstick in the shade Starlet, so I'm going to keep both of those. These are the Perfusion and the Mean Girls. They're called Matte Lip Creams. These are really nice lip products. I think they're just, they're really pretty colors. They go on the lips really nicely, but I haven't reached for them in a very long time, so I think I'm going to go ahead and part with those. And this is the Kylie. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade, I think this is, yeah, Dirty Peach. I don't really use the liquid lipstick that much. I like the lip liner much better than I do the actual lipstick, so I'm going to part with this. And this one is the Joa lipstick. This one is in the shade Yas. Now, I don't think you can get this lipstick anymore. I think they discontinued it, which is a shame because it was one of my favorites. But So I want to use up what I have left, and then I will get rid of it. And then this is the Elf and the Bella Noir Liquid Lipstick. I'm keeping this more so for just memory for, and also for that packaging. I'm not going to use it again. It's probably expired, but I just want to keep it for that pretty packaging. All right, so here's the keep pile, and here's the pile to go. This side is bigger, but a lot of these were newer to me, so I don't want to let go of products that I just purchased. But I didn't do such a bad job. I did better than I thought I would. I thought that there might be some that I'd hold on to that I would keep when I didn't need them. So it's not too bad. So now I'm just gonna do a group shot here of everything that I'm letting go and then 
that'll be everything and there is everything that I am decluttering I don't think it's such a bad pile after all but you will all have to let me know how you think I did and this is the last of my declutter videos for now. I hope that you did enjoy all three of these videos. And there we have the final part in my declutter series. I think I mentioned this in my part one of the series that I wouldn't be doing blushes or eyeshadows. I just, right now, I can't make myself part with my blushes. Blush is one of my favorite parts of makeup application along with eyeshadow, so I just can't make myself do it right now. But if I ever decide to, I will certainly film it. As far as eyeshadow palettes, I had done a pretty big declutter prior to even beginning this channel, so I really don't know how much more I would actually let go of right this second, but maybe that's something I can do in the future. But I hope that you did enjoy today's video, and if you did, I hope that you will please consider subscribing. That would mean so very much to me. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.